Ah, yes, a burnt out light bulb situation in the hallway. This one only sometimes works. There. And this one works full time. Both light bulbs there in the fixture. And the second one is, yeah, whenever it decides to work. You saw it. So in this video, I'll show you how to access the light bulbs and get ready for a situation with the light bulbs because it's not quite a light bulb. It's a fluorescent tube with a special base named G24Q. So before we get to the geometric detail of finding the right one for your fixture, how do you even take it apart? There are absolutely no observable screws nothing that you can put a screwdriver on or your finger on so what do you do let me show you i'm just gonna get you a 180 around the fixture so this is how it looks like there is seemingly nothing to work with yeah that's because this ring is a snap ring here Fri friction fit and comes off like this What's left there holding the glass perfectly safely is this. So the trim ring is snap fitted on these on these hooks that are flexible, three of them. There's one, there's another, and there's a third one over there. And what's holding the glass are some smaller flexible hooks as well. They will look like this. So, these are the glass comes off. If you bend one of the hooks or move one of the hooks, you might need a, I don't know, a tough fingertip, whatever, there to just temporarily bend one out of the way but it's not permanently bent it's a spring clip we're talking about here looking like this oops they also rotate but there okay so they bend that sorry they bend out of the way enough once there it's fairly straightforward if to access the light bulbs some may have a contact problem they may come out without an issue uh, there, these ones are fairly easy if they don't want to separate too easily then of course don't pull it by the glass you pull it with two hands on it pull it by the base let me show you what i have in mind here one hand here the other hand here separate them like so if you really, really, really need a hand, an extra hand or something, you might grab a kitchen spoon. Of course, this is powered down, so there's no electricity coming to it from all the way to the switch on the wall. So this is absolutely the section of the wiring system in the house is wired, sorry, it's powered down. So it's safe to touch it whatever knife whatever you have something that you can put into this gap and pry this forward so you're not breaking the glass cutting your hand or damaging something else that you don't want so once the light bulbs are out i want to point out their base the base has four pins for electrical connections there so far so good two of these features here these uh, tabs here that line up with the socket of course and it's still powered down and it is safe to touch and this spring clip here catches this tab on the base here this one here i hope that makes sense and lastly you have one other critical feature here this one here this tab here this index tab here in the base on the on the base here and those line up 
with this cutout here in the socket. Very simply. And this is where this tab goes. Okay, so the socket here is generously made. And because there are two variants of this base with four pins, some have this tab in the center. This one has the tabs on the side. And these two have different wattages. Now, this fixture here says maximum 13 watts. Here, this 13 watts. This one is 13 watts. I have a whole box of it, 13 watts, and they all have the pin, this pin in the, in the housing here, in the center. This one has a pin at the side, and it's not 13 watts, it's a different number. Let's see if it's printed on it. Not really, usually it's 20, 18 watts or 22 watts, whatever, different number. These also fit, if I'm not mistaken, because the this tab on the housing fits the socket. Okay, just so happens, just so happens that this tab here, offset to the left, still fits the socket here because the socket is a universal socket for both of these variants. For both of these variants. Okay. But they say put in only 13 watts for the amount of heat that they generate. So put in something that works. Okay, so these are the two burnt out ones. So once you're in the store with your light bulbs, you have to watch the shape of the base. So this one is the offset four pin. This one is the center tab four pin. In the store where the light bulbs are kept in an aisle with other hundreds of light bulbs, you're gonna have to watch the base of these ones. So this is a two pin design, two pin, two pin, two pin, four pins, four pins, four pins, and two pins on this one. So for example, this and this are only different in the number of pins, two there, four there. Here, these two are the same. So there are only two designs, offset tabs and center tabs right there. For replacement, I found these two and they don't really tell you the color of the light that they generate. This one tells you that it's a soft, soft warm, whatever, soft warm light, whatever, it's a soft color, somewhat yellowish, orangish, 2700K. These ones are too blue. So just for contrast, I'm gonna put the super annoyingly blue ones in. Maybe I'm gonna need two hands on it. One of them. And a... Second one. And let's see their color. Yeah, super blue. So this one is orangey, whatever, nice and soft. The color temperature on it is 4,000K, 5,000K, whatever it is on these two. Therefore, I had to go and get another pack, 2700K, that will match the color of those or the color in these instead of this super harsh blue so watch out for the color temperature of the light bulbs okay so that's yeah the uh, <clears throat> female in the house immediately said wrong color so there we go redo so that's what's involved so besides finding the right base for the ballast its color temperature is just as important some of the extremes might be too objectionable or too irritant for some people so you might want to pick out one color that you actually like so pay attention to it different products are available over here i found an led replacement with this base that's 
We've got four pins and the index tabs are offset on it and it promises to be cool white color so the color is color temperature is indicated on it putting the glass back on is fairly straightforward i'm going to put you back on the top here take out these ones because these are wrong color and they are to be returned and i'm going to put the correct color in but i just show you the glass clips in place fairly straightforward catch one hook push it into the second hook and the third one will be will need to be bent a little bit like so this is about the effort and time it takes to put the glass back in so again catch one hook catch a second one make sure the edge is actually seated and there put it on with the at, at the third hook and i'm just gonna need this ring as well this snap ring also just clips in place just friction fit there with this much time and this much force is needed so it comes off you have to find where these hooks are there with minimal effort if you pry it at the hooks so you have to find them before you take them off and position your hands accordingly it's fairly straightforward yeah once you get used to these thank you very much for watching uh, get ready for finding the right fluorescent tubes at the right color temperature